An update tonight on the placement of a sexually violent predator expected to move into an East County community. Fox 5 Zara Barker is live in downtown San Diego with what was decided today and how residents are now fighting back. Zara, good evening. Maria, good evening to you. Now, a San Diego County judge has already approved Michael Martinez to move into a home in Borrego Springs. That was decided back in July, but here today in a courtroom, we learned that his move-in date was pushed back. And in the meantime, residents tell me they're not going to stop fighting against this. I am I'm furious. Where is the protection of our community? In a closed sexually violent predator update hearing Friday, Supervisor Jim Desmond says he asked what the terms are for the release of sexually violent predator Michael Martinez to this home on Running Him Road in Borrego Springs. Because everybody's worried. Well, what do I do? When do I call the sheriff? When do I not? It's something neighbors have been wanting answers to, but Judge Gill denied the request to publish the terms and conditions. Desmond says during the meeting, it was said that Martinez will be allowed to quote pick up his mail at the post office in the middle of town. He says this is disturbing for the entire community and another consequence of an SVP. Martinez's move in date was set for September 9th, but Liberty Healthcare, the agency that contracts with the state to operate the release, has asked to extend it to September 16th to resolve code enforcement issues and a clause in the landlord's mortgage document. Today it's in one of our two neighborhoods. Tomorrow it might be in somebody else's neighborhood. Sarah and Lee Ronders and others who live in Borrego Springs say they've purchased a property in the past to take it out of the question for an SVP and say they're not going to stop fighting this. People know each other and it doesn't matter what, what walk of life you're from, everybody goes to the grocery store. Everybody waves to each other. You know, we, we have a very, it's a, it's a great equitable kind of place to be. And we hate to see that disturbed by a predator being placed there. And there is another case under review right now to place sexually violent predator Douglas Badger also into a home in Borrego Springs, but no official date or word on that one has been announced yet. Of course, we'll keep you updated as soon as it comes down. Live from downtown San Diego, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News.